My wounds will heal. Yours will not. What a dark force is to bring to corruption, Elle. We'll look at the next time. Cheap strikes and amateur sword damage. Time for the next time. My wounds will heal. Yours will not. Let's keep this brief. Stars, your aid arrived just in time. So, you mean to be rewarded for taking a life, do you? Here, take these coins for your trouble, if gold is the language you speak. But understand that they come with my thanks, whether you like it or not. I take it you know these lands. I am unfamiliar with these regions, I admit. I followed a strange gate, leading from the lands I've sworn to protect. My kind, we face hardship, but hostility welcomes me here too, I see. The creatures that lay before me, they resemble a people from my world, yet the ones I know would have not acted so foolishly, or asked so many irregular questions. These creatures look foul, and their actions agree with their appearance. It is all very puzzling. I think I was right in my assumptions. You must possess a fair amount of knowledge concerning this land. I believe I'm getting to understand you better. But allow me one more question. What is your role in this world? What do you deem your purpose to be? That is a noble cause, yet I fear that you may find much pain on your path as well. Still, perhaps you would be able to aid me in my troubles. Thank you for all you have told me. I suppose it is only fair that I introduce myself now, is it not? I am called Biocell, and I am a ranger of Iron Hall. I have come to this world by accident, after I passed through a strange gate I discovered, hidden just out of sight. I would not have come here, were not that my people were tasked with the protection of a tranquil land. Lately we find ourselves besieged. New threats have arisen, and I was sent out to find help or allies. Upon entering this strange world of yours, I approached this small band of... Thalmor, you call them? They attacked me after I refused to answer their questions. Now I am uncertain if coming here was a mistake or not, but at least I... Would you care to meet my kind and its leader? Or perhaps even join our cause? Whether it be honour, fame, or gold you seek, I am certain we can cater to your needs in a satisfying manner. I thank you for your compliance. I'm sure my companions will be just as grateful. I'm afraid you will need to find your way to our base of operations by yourself. We will meet again once you seek out the old farmhouse east of Barg End. Yes? Well, well. 
What have we here? A stranger approaches the secluded base of the rangers. Desirable attention. Don't be alarmed. I am simply the gatekeeper. From what I can tell, you check out or please find your own way into the base. You should be fine. Just don't forget to shine your light on the situation. If at the end of the day you are still pondering my choice of words, then the Rangers will have no use for you. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Of that you can be sure. Give my regards to Thorman. He'll be so glad to hear from me. You will find him inside. Captain, looks like the mouse sprung our trap. I strongly suggest you speak quickly to explain your presence. Loosen up someone? Fired. But such a pity. So, just to be safe. Huh. I. Perhaps we started off on the wrong foot. You may not be my enemy after all. I need one more thing before your release is warranted. What is your name, stranger? Your will may be strong, stranger, but you are still behind my bars. That wasn't so hard, was it? My name is Thorman, and I am Byersal's captain. Your words have earned you your freedom. Now please, follow me into our base. We will continue our conversation in there. Thorman, this is a joke, right? You're not actually going to let her in, are you? She hardly answered the way we agreed on. You're right. She didn't. But my reasons behind this decision are my own. Go ahead and unlock her cage. Just a fair warning. If you so much as adjust your sheath while you're in here, I'll have a dagger up your throat faster than you can apologize. I hope that's perfectly clear. Here's the key, Outlander. I'm sure you know how to use it. Good to go back. We never got the chance to finish our discussion from earlier. What of these trolls? I suppose you think they came down from the mountains by chance as well. These are no coincidences. Listen, Foritan, I've heard your opinion, but what would you do about the situation right now? I don't know. Something. Anything is better than sitting here talking about what could be done. We cannot act too hasty. We need to think about our actions. Think about the consequences. We can't just barge into people's lives and disrupt their routines. We need to... Act with caution, that's all I'm saying. I think Fordot has a point, though. I too am wary of sitting idly by while our enemies move at the fringes of our sight. How can we hope to do good if we cannot warp the safety of those we're supposed to protect? How can we leave our mark on this world if we sit still? Bah, I see what you're trying to do, both of you. You would replace my vision with your own. I'll have none of this. Thorman, you've been quiet this whole time. Surely you can dismiss their concerns. Concern? Concerns? It sounds like you three are still not satisfied with the way I deal with our problems. I am satisfied, Thorman. I was just telling Foridon and Tinruth that we should have faith in our capabilities. Dursik, you coward! Hiding behind the chief again? No need for hostilities, Tinruth. Thorman. You know how I feel about maintaining a passive stance in these times. I am well aware of your reservations. You also know nothing has changed. We need more information before we can turn to action. 
Of course. But we should at least dispatch scouting parties to see what areas are threatened. What is the use of waiting until it's too late? We would. If we could spare the manpower. Yet we cannot afford to discontinue our regular duties. I need everyone on their post, and that is that. If you insist, Thorman. I just wish my post wasn't between the four corners of this base all the time! Stop playing the victim, Tinruth. We know you are capable, and no, we're not holding you back. Patience is one of the final lessons you need to learn, apparently. If only someone would actually teach me anything. Ah, there's a familiar face. I'm glad you found your way to our base, Outlander. It took you longer than most, though. <laughs> I assume you've met Thorman, our captain? We've met, yes. And I hope the Outlander forgives me for the manner in which it happened. I think that means you were locked up in our cage. Isn't that right? Thorman, this one helped me defeat a gang of... Thalmor, you call them? I owe my life to this Outlander. I know. She told me about your shared battle. That display of bravery played a sizable part in the Outlander's release. I would welcome such a brave soul, if they were willing to lend a hand in some of our efforts. I assume that is why you sent her here by herself. You expressed our need for aid? I did indeed. Therefore, I am glad the Outlander showed up. I think she will be a boon to our cause. For better or for worse, we are in need of aid. Please speak to the other rangers while Byersel and I discuss what needs to be done. What do you want? Did you say something? Yes? Greetings. It is my pleasure to meet you. Despite what the others may think, I believe you will be a great boon to our company. But perhaps I speak too soon, and my words are filled with too much hope. However, we could truly use some light in this darkness, and I hope Thorman will decide to have you join our ranks. As a hired hand, of course. If I could answer any of your questions, let me know. I am Foradant. And how may I address you, stranger? Glad to make your acquaintance, then. In what other way can I be of assistance? I'm afraid you could not. Well, not a proper ranger, anyway. But, with a decent attitude and excellent results, what would your ancestry matter? I think you could fight alongside us, if you sufficiently prove your worth. I earned my position here through the skill and efficiency I displayed in the past. I would love to share some of the tales of my adventures with you, but now may not be the best time to sit and exchange story. After weeks of sitting around and doing nothing, you are the first change this company has seen in a long time. I welcome you, and you've got that eager look in your eyes. It is true I know nothing of you, but I have a feeling you will be of value to our cause. Being assigned to this region could be thrilling, were it not that I know what happened to- What good can come from- At this moment, there may be times are changing. You are here. I traveled through the Shire to assess any rising threats. If you need to- I am most skilled. Without the knowledge I provide to our company, we... Sure. Is there something you're trying? You'll have to excuse me if I won't greet. I do not know who. I hope you will not betray the trust of. But that is the ex. Alas, if you have any questions for me, it is my duty to provide you with the information. But I hope we can be brief. Conversations are. There is something I should have told you earlier. I will not have any talk of my path. Come to me if you need training. But if you search. Is that un. For now, let me be Durusk, weapon master to you. What reason do I have to try? This is not a life of- I am reluctant to put my life in the hands of a str- I am- It is mostly- But I- The thought- However, I know what I do- Uh-huh. Yeah? 
Yes? I'm to believe that you could be... We're doing quite... I, I just wish I had more time to perform all these extra duties. Let me know if you need any information from me. I know your type. You think you could storm in here and earn your position in the higher ranks after performing just a few t This isn't a group like- In any case, I join- I am Tinruth. What should I call you then? Alright. Need anything else? I'm a busy woman, you know. Of course. See you there. Outlander, after some consideration, we'd like to ask you to perform some minor tasks for us. Your efforts would truly help our cause, even though the jobs appear mundane. We do not have much gold to offer, but you will be compensated for your work. I know our offer to perform trivial jobs doesn't seem like much, but you would truly help our effort. What say you? Will you help me once more? I am happy to hear it. Take some time to explore our base. I will see you again soon. Outlander. Speak your piece. Good. You're still here. Like I said before, I wish to discuss some tasks. Nothing too difficult. I have five different tasks you can choose. I also received word of a war. Finally, I understand. What matter would you like to attend to? I've overheard rumors of goblin camps here in the Shire. I'll be honest with you, we receive tales like this quite frequently. Nevertheless, there is a slight possibility these rumors have some truth behind them. In any case, I suggest you proceed with great caution. The goblins around here are more clever than most. Once you find the entrance, no two go- If you do, Find out how to get inside by solving the riddle. That is it. We'll handle it from there.
some. How about a game of riddles? I'm not bad today. I'm busy. Were the rumors true? You did what? You're a fool. My orders were to discover the way in and get that information to me. That was it. You cannot solve every problem by swinging an axe into it. There's a good chance you only shook their nest, and the last thing we need is a goblin clan going berserk across the Shire. But perhaps I am being too harsh. While it is true you disobeyed my orders and I will not endorse that behavior, you did clear out a goblin camp by yourself. That is no small feat. And it should not be overlooked. Here is your reward. What would you like to do next? I'm going to hand you over to Tinruth for this one. Speak to her to receive your orders in broader detail. Hello? Thorman asked you to help with the food supply run? Finally! It's about time I- I'm glad he found a replacement. You'd better get well acquainted with duties like these. You'd be carrying them out a lot, that's for sure. Ah, whining! You know what? Then we'll see if you're still less happy to help. Huh! Our food supply- Since they're new, you cook the field- I'll handle the rest. Sound fair? We should start a meet. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Well, at least. Forma told me to give you this. Go ahead and speak with him again next chance you get. Speak your piece. What would you like to do next? Good. I would have hated to spare a ranger for this one. We've heard several reports of a large wolf pack that entered in from the south a few days ago. Packs like these haven't been seen in the Shire for years, and the halflings are viewing it as a bad omen. They need to be driven back out of our land before they develop a taste for something new. What do you think? Can you handle it, or am I overestimating your ability? Good. Then this shouldn't be a problem for you. Just keep in mind, their hide is thick and their teeth keen. If you wish to return with all your limbs attached, you will heed this warning. Speak your peace. <laughs> 